Our nation has been at war for more than 11 years. Since September 11, 2001, our nation has sent more than 2 million of her sons and daughters into harm's way. These patriots all volunteered to defend the freedoms we hold dear as Americans. Now it's our turn to act. Most people are aware of the physical wounds that our troops suffer, but it's the invisible wound that often goes unnoticed or untreated. This is why we have launched the Help Save Our Troops campaign at the Armed Forces Foundation. Well, in 2008, we were uh, setting up to go to a field exercise for our deployment to Afghanistan. And uh, that day, before we were getting ready to load the vehicles, a uh, piece of equipment fell on my arm, breaking it in eight different places and doing some nerve and tendon damage. I don't remember much from, uh, from the explosions. What I do recall uh, from the first one, we had just finished a patrol and a IED struck our vehicle. I don't recall losing consciousness, but when I did come back, we were in the middle of an ambush that uh, resulted in my being injured as well as uh, another individual in the vehicle being injured. Other people on the outside understand what we go through only to a certain extent. And with the Armed Forces Foundation, they let just regular everyday people see how hard it is after a combat tour or after you've been medically retired and how hard it is to interact with the world again as a real person. More than 600,000 veterans have been diagnosed with PTSD and there have been more than 230,000 cases of traumatic brain injury since 2001. One of the aspects of the campaign is our online therapy room, which is intended to help troops and their families find positive and creative outlets to deal with PTSD. For some families, it's already too late. Last year, there were 349 suicides among active duty service members. More than were killed in action. Additionally, one veteran commits suicide every 65 minutes, up from one every 80 minutes the previous year. This is an epidemic that needs attention and needs to end. At HelpSaveOurTroops.org, you can visit the online therapy room to learn how others, including me, deal with life's daily stresses. Hopefully, service members and their families will use this tool in a proactive way, especially before it becomes too late. I'm Paige McDonald. I'm from Dalton, Georgia, and I lost my son, who is 25 years of age, to suicide. They did diagnose him with PTSD. If I would have known about the Armed Forces Foundation back then, I think he would still be here today. Suicide, it rips the foundation of everything a parent has tried to do. You know, you need to talk to someone who's been there, someone who shares the same problems you have. The Armed Forces Foundation is, is a wonderful organization. They help with funeral expenses. They also help with paying for inpatient therapy. Swallow your pride. Let somebody know you need help. This is just one story, but it's everyone's responsibility to help raise awareness. We don't want anyone to become a statistic. We're here to help. People returning from the battlefield today have been exposed to a variety of situations that lead to a lot of hidden uh, injuries, uh, things like post-traumatic stress syndrome and, and traumatic brain injury. When they return to society, it's very important that our society understand, be educated on the conditions that confront the servicemen and women today. We have to do the things necessary, provide the resources necessary uh, to give them treatment and uh, to give them opportunities so that they are allowed to come back into society and be able to manage uh, along with the uh, terrific sacrifices that they've been through. So I think it's more or less of an education process uh, that goes right to the heart of helping Americans understand what these men and women have been exposed to and how best America uh, can lend a hand, if you will, in the resources necessary to treat them for these conditions. When I see a man or a woman in uniform, whether overseas, back home in Ohio, in D.C., 
or in a hospital bed at Walter Reed, I'm overcome with a feeling of pride and humility. The Armed Forces Foundation prides itself on returning 95 cents of every dollar raised to service members, veterans, and their families. The programs we run help our service members in times of need through our financial assistance programs, provide therapeutic activities to help service members cope with their invisible and physical wounds, and ensure that we truly live up to our motto of serving those who serve. When you go inside the cover of the book, America's Greatest Generation by Tom Brokaw, he, he has a saying in there that is forever embedded in my mind. When the World War II generation won the war and saved the world. And I use that to illustrate that freedom isn't free. And America is a great country because so many men and women, millions, have voluntarily given of themselves to stand in harm's way for all of these principles. And my call to action to all Americans is to recognize the great sacrifice that our men and women endure in order to protect the liberty and the freedoms espoused by the greatest country the world has ever known. Never, ever fail to understand how important these men and women are to everything that we believe as Americans. Many of our returning heroes carry deep scars from their war experiences. Many are external scars, but there are also many invisible wounds, including post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. We must recognize that these invisible wounds are as real as the visible wounds. I really appreciate everything that the Armed Forces Foundation has done, not only for myself, but for everyone else they've helped. There's so many people out there that say they care and don't show it. And the Armed Forces Foundation says it and proves it 24 seven. I got involved with the AFF initially through a hunt uh, with one of the board members and through a good friend of mine. That hunt itself, I saw just a transformation, not only in myself, but my fellow veterans, individuals who were very quiet when we arrived, but the minute we got out, back out in the woods, started doing just the most basic things that we all love to do. Everyone opened up. Everyone went back to their old ways of just being social, friendly, cordial. And seeing how the AFF was able to foster that kind of environment made me realize that this organization really does have the right mentality, the right focus. I've just been very happy and proud to help them in any way I can, as well as uh, very grateful for all the support they've given me. We started as a small organization that has grown exponentially with your help and support. But we're just getting started. We need your help now more than ever with the launch of Help Save Our Troops campaign. Stand with the Armed Forces Foundation as we fight to bring awareness to PTSD, TBI, and military suicide.